Every serious student strives to get information regarding any exam he or she wants to write. This information flow should normally happen before, during, and after the examination. Before the examination, you may want to know the exact date for the examination. During the examination, you may want to know how others who have written before are faring. And after the examination, you may want to know how to check your exam results and the next step to take. Do you want to take JAMP exam this year? And you are wondering how you can keep in touch with the latest information concerning JAMP examination? Well, you are in the right channel. Before we begin, there is a disclaimer I need to ring. This video is purely for educational purposes and as such, we advise to take everything serious. My name is Oulabi Tangod aka MC Owoblu, and I have been directly involved in getting thousands of students into several higher institutions in Nigeria through my various information channels which include my personal WhatsApp status of which my number is currently being displayed on the screen so you can message me to save so you can view it. Our Facebook group at O3 Schools which is what you are seeing currently and our website which is of course o3schools.com. You also get notifications about anything related to JAMP on the JAMP most recommended practice app to score at least 300 in JAMP called O3 School JAMP app. Want to see how it works? Watch till the end. Before we jump into talking about everything you need to know before taking your JAM form, let's see what JAM examination is about first. The Joint Admission and Matriculation Board JAM is Nigeria's official entrance examination board for students seeking admission to any Nigerian institution of higher learning such as colleges of education, polytechnics and universities. Before 2010, JAM conducted two separate examinations for students seeking admission to higher institutions of education in Nigeria. The first examination was the University Matriculation Examination UME, for candidates seeking admission into any Nigerian university, while the second was the Monotechnics, Polytechnics and Colleges of Education Matriculation Examination, called MPCEME. This examination was intended for candidates seeking admission to Monotechnics, Polytechnics or Colleges of Education in Nigeria. Presently. JAMB has combined these two examinations into one called the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, UTME. The UTME is mandatory for all candidates seeking admission into universities, polytechnics, monotechnics, or colleges of education in Nigeria. So, if you intend to attend a higher education institution in Nigeria, you have to write and do well in the UTME. Our JAMB app has been designed to make you score at least 300 in JAMB without hazards. Before I continue, Let's take a look at this short video explaining how our JAMP app works. Hi there, my name is Oulabi Tangod from O3 Schools. We have been directly involved in getting thousands of students into various tertiary institutions in Nigeria over the past 7 years. The proofs are what you are seeing right now on the screen. As such, we have been able to study how JAMP works and all you need to do to get into school. Our app is designed to enable you to practice your way into your dream school with at least a score of 300. O3 School Jam CPT app is the best learning app to score 300 plus. The app features over 19,000 Jam pass and likely questions offline. Jam recommended novel, the life changer, UTME challenge where you can compete with other Jam bites all over Nigeria to win prizes before the main exam. All literature textbooks, career guide, school finder, dictionary, educational games, etc. The app is available for Android phones, laptops, and desktops. Reasons to get this app. It does not expire. The app continues to work provided you do not misplace your device or flash it. 2. No subscription fee. That is, once you activate the app, it stays forever activated for all subjects. Number 3. Practice by topics and practice many subjects at once. Number 4. Voice features where you can listen to questions and their explanations. Number 5. Built-in calculator and several interesting user experience features. How to download this app? Head to Play Store and search for O3 School Jam to download the latest version of this app. Install and that's all. How do you activate this app? To enjoy the full features of this app, simply click on activate at the top menu. Go to buy activation key. You can then pay with your ATM card online or pay via transfer or POS, PEGA and OPE. After payment, send screenshot of receipt or debit to our support number on 0912151524 on WhatsApp. See you at the top. Now that we know what the JAM examination is about, let's take a look at the things you need to do before taking this form. Several students make several mistakes during jam registration, which later affects them one way or the other. You do not need to make these mistakes too, which is why you need to watch on calmly. If you are new here, 
you should click on the red subscribe button and click on the notification icon so you can get updated immediately we release any new content like this. Note that subscription to this channel is absolutely free. Alright, you can take a glass of your favorite drink and follow me on this rather long and interesting journey. Common mistakes that Jambites make is choosing a wrong institution as well as choosing a wrong course of study. Making this kind of silly mistakes can cost you your time and fortune. You should try as much as possible to avoid them with all your strength. I will now itemize everything you need to know before proceeding to take your jam form right now. Number one, have a personal conviction that you are ready to take jam examination. A lot of students just realize that they need to take jam after taking their O-level examinations such as WAEC and NECO. They know nothing about jam examination and the modules operandi. They storm to register for jam exam and the exam ends up shocking them. Some other students take jam just to test their knowledge while they are in senior secondary school too, commonly referred as SS2. The other categories of students like to wait to see that they have their O-level result complete. Then, they study how jam examination works before thinking about taking the form. Whichever category you fall into, it is highly advisable to know and fully understand what you are going into before taking that giant leap of taking the examination. You must be ready in all ramifications and be consciously prepared to smash the examination and hold your admission by the scruff of the neck. Important things to get ready. Number one, an active phone number. Although a lot of students ignore this and treat it with lack of seriousness, it is very important. You can register with any available number, but it is much more better to register with your own personal number. Registering a SIM has become very easy than it will ever be. Walk into any SIM registration point and get your SIM ready as it will be very much needed during and after your JAM exam. Several candidates run into a lot of challenges for misplacing their SIMs. You should not be among them for any reason. Whichever SIM you use in registering for your jam, you have to guide it with all seriousness as misplacing it will cause a lot of problems for you. Number two, an active email. You can easily create an email within split seconds now. In my over five years of leading students to gain admission into several institutions from scratch, I have seen students failing to get admission into their preferred institution because they can't access their emails. As easy as this may sound, you need to create your own email. Make sure you save your password and email somewhere safe so that you won't forget the details for any reason. And this means that when your email is called upon for any reason, you won't be found wanting. If you are creating a new one, make sure it is valid or else you will have serious issues. Number 3. National Identification Number NIN After the last jam examination, they have now made using NIN for registration very compulsory. This means that if you are interested in taking jam examination for the year in view, you need to walk into any NIMC center to get your NIN done and printed out so you won't have any registration issues when jam registration eventually begins. This means that without NIN, you can no longer register for jam examination. The tentative date for this year's jam examination is in the description of this video. Number 4. O-Level Results The way UTME examination is designed, it is meant for students who have completed their O-Level exams and are now ready to further into tertiary institutions of the country. But it is also possible that you do not want to wait to see your O-Level result before taking JAM. This is why awaiting result also works for JAM registration. Of course, if JAM form comes out before your WAEC or NECO result, you are highly free to use awaiting result to apply pending when O-Level result will be released. Likewise, for direct entry candidates, advanced level results such as IJMB, JUPEB, NCE, and National Diploma ND should be ready before applying, while awaiting result can also be used to apply. Number 5. Prepare your personal and institutional details before applying. The most annoying part of any registration is when someone comes to tell me that their names were spelled wrongly during registration. Your eyes have to be opened during registration by any of the several CBT centers in the country. You need to make sure you get all your details ready beforehand to avoid matter that touch the heart. A list of all JAM CBT centers in Nigeria is in the description below. Do well to check it. Number 6. Generation of Profile Code A lot of students who want to write JAM have no idea about this. It is very important to have your JAM Profile Code created once JAM registration begins. Your profile is where you can assess everything about your admission for the particular year you are seeking admission. Your profile code is a 10-digit number used to complete profile registrations on JAM portal. 
The code is unique to every candidate and this means that no two candidates can have the same profile code. You can easily get your profile code using the USSD method. To get your profile code using the USSD method, simply dial star 55019 star 1 star NINH. An SMS containing the full name used in your NIN registration as well as your unique profile code will be automatically sent to your phone number. To get the profile code using SMS, simply send NIN, then your NIN number to 55019. For example, if your NIN number is 1342876914, then send NIN 1342876914 as a message to 55019 and you'll get your profile code. Of course, you can see the description in this video. Number 7. Make a good choice of school and course. Before they start for jump examination, you should first of all make a choice of school and several things will guide you. Firstly, you need to check the school ratings to see if it is worthy of attending. You need to make sure the department you are going to be is one where you will be well taught. You can check online to see the number of professors the department has, the school fees for your course, court activities of the school, which I can boldly say has reduced over the years drastically, the school catchment area for admission, how competitive the course you are choosing in the school, and so many other important factors. If you are satisfied with what you have researched, then you can apply to the school. So many students go to different schools because they have not done their due diligence. You shouldn't be in that category. As a cheat sheet for a perfect guide to choosing your school, here are some things to look at in general. You have to research on the course content of the university, the reputation of the university, graduate employment rates, the general ranking of the institution, and the quality of facilities present at the university. While for making a good choice of course, you need to pay attention to your passion for the course, the relevance of the course to the economy, and how versatile the course is. Number 8. Purchasing of UTME PIN To register for your JAMB examination, you need to purchase your JAMB UTME PIN, which can be gotten from any bank in Nigeria. After purchasing this PIN, you are expected to approach any accredited CBT center to get your registration done one jam form registration begins. You will go with your personal details and the jam profile code we have earlier talked about. Number nine, have an early start. Some students prefer starting their jam reading a week or a month to jam exam, and these are exactly the people that make lifelong mistakes in this examination. Apart from not doing well in the exam, they will miss out on important deadlines and information because they have not been paying attention to the things they should. Only Bowman says, proper preparation prevents poor performance. Download O3 School Jump app now for 2022 from Play Store. Activate it and start practicing early enough to have a high jump score. Number 10. Jump Syllabus and Jump Brokeo A lot of students write jump examination without ever knowing that something like this exists. These two are very important if you want to do well in your examination. And if you want to avoid mistakes pertaining to choice of school, choice of course, and their specific requirements. You should ensure you study with your jam syllabus by your side for your four subject combination. A link is in the description to see your jam procure and jam syllabus. You can download them from there and see for yourself. Number 11. Jam subject combination. Making a mistake pertaining to your jam subject combination can cost you your admission. Ensure you properly and carefully choose your correct combination for your course. A link is in the description for combination for all courses offered in Nigeria. Number 12. Jam Mock Examination Before the main jam examination, candidates are usually subjected to a kind of test which gives them a feel of how the examination will be in the chosen year. It is not compulsory, but you may want to give it a try. Number 13. Examination Span Jam examination usually lasts for a period of 10 days, so you are expected to reprint to see your date of examination. Number 14. Jam Result Checking Results are often released just three days after a candidate writes his or a jam CBT examination. Number 15. Original result printing. Original result printing usually begins one month after the result has been released. Number 16. Jam change of course and institution. This usually begins two weeks after the results have been released. If you have any reason to change or make a correction, it will be the perfect time. Number 3. Let's see the common mistakes to avoid. The following are some common mistakes you should completely avoid if you don't want to shed tears in this year's JAMS examination. Common mistakes include asking someone to register on your behalf, filling the job registration form carelessly, 
making a mistake in your date of birth, choosing the wrong institution, not spelling your name correctly, putting a wrong local government of origin, putting the wrong course of study and making mistakes in your JAM profile. As little as these things may sound, they can make you receive JAM one way or the other. I have heard students say the mistakes on their form was from the CBT operator. You have to ensure you sit with him or her while he or she is filling your details and before he or she does a final submission. Make sure you double check your details to avoid these pitfalls. While these are not all the things you may need to know, knowing these basic things will save you from time wastage and heartbreaks. Download the latest version of OTD School Jam app from Play Store. Activate it and start pursuing your admission with all righteousness. In all of this, do not forget to pray to your God for direction and assistance. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more educational content. If you do not share this video content for any reason, that thing you are doing is very wrong. I would very much appreciate if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram at mc_oblo. Till I come your way again, bye bye.